Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Gen Sense. I, I got something weird today. Something a little bit different. It's uh, this guy. Burnt hair, sounds great. So this is a fragrance released by The Boring Company, which is one of Elon Musk's ventures. And I ordered this back in October of last year. So that's when the pre-sale for this was. And uh, it took until now to get it in. I actually forgot <laughs> a few times that I had even purchased it. And then I would get an email in like, hey, just an FYI, we're still working on this. And I'd be like, oh yeah, why did I buy that? Maybe not my smartest purchase of all time. Basically, <laughs> looked like a complete gimmick uh, when I placed the order for it, but I knew what I was getting into. I mean, fragrance named Burnt Hair, you kind of know what they're doing there, right? It's on the nose. At least you don't buy it and expect it to be something wearable, and then you get it in and you're like, oh, this is terrible. How could they do this? It's called friggin' Burnt Hair. Uh, it was $100. So that's how much I ponied up here to get this one in. It arrived earlier today and I, I couldn't hide my excitement. I went ahead and opened it up and I have sprayed it on already, but I have only sprayed it on once. So this is still a glorified first impression. I'll link it down below. I did check before uh, turning the camera on and it shows sold out. So I don't know if they're gonna make more of these or not. I'll tell you what my initial thought process was here. Uh, as I said before, basically that it was a gimmick fragrance. That was the initial thought process, but also that it just seemed like an easy way for uh, the boring company to raise some money, charge $100 for an unreleased fragrance that nobody can smell, make something that's very inexpensive and cheap that probably will cost them like a dollar per bottle, sell it for $100 per bottle, take all that money that you make from this and invest that and something else or put that towards something else. So essentially that would be a cash grab. But I do have the fragrance in and uh, we're gonna talk about it <laughs> and uh, how it smells. I've already seen these on eBay going for like $200 plus, 250, who knows? <laughs> Maybe this is gonna be some collector fragrance thing. So let's take a look at the presentation, but first off, we'll look at this little card that was inside of the box. It just says, hey there, Smoke Show. Congratulations on your purchase of burnt hair. It's going to be lit, but not lit -rally. <laughs> Oh, all oh, oh, dad jokes. Flip over this card for some boring legal language about flammability. And then you just look on the back and it, it basically just says, hey, don't set this on fire. And that's pretty much it, just, yeah. So I'm glad they included that because otherwise, who knows what could have happened here. So here is your box. It says burnt hair singed on the front there. And that is honestly pretty much the entirety of the presentation. It's got a velvety feel on it, uh, similar to some of the clone fragrances out there that have those like velvety feeling bottles that I absolutely hate. Kind of like those. Nothing on the bottom, no stickers, no badge codes, no concentrations, no sizes of the fragrance, nothing. Just burnt hair singed. Opens up like so. And you have a little cutout where the bottle sits in there and uh, it is foam on the inside right there on the base anyway. And here we have the bottle. This is, you know, just a little stock bottle with a gaudy plastic faux jewel cap. Reminds me of like a Britney Spears fragrance, something like that. It says burnt hair singed right on the front there. Uh, no sticker, again, no concentration, no size, no nothing. It's got that kind of cheap looking tube on the inside, you know, kind of a thick and girthy one, like from a 1980s fragrance. So yeah, as I said, they don't bother to put anything on here. No badge code, no sticker, no concentration, no size, they don't care. Which again, fair enough, they're letting you know right from the get go, that they pretty much don't care with it. And as soon as I placed the order, I already knew that. And I've got it pulled up here. When I placed the order, it says that they are going to let me know when it ships. They're expecting it to ship in Q1 2023, which uh, that didn't happen, but that's fine. There's nothing else on there. There's like no information at all about the fragrance. And then the website uh, for the fragrance itself really has no information either. Just says uh, that it is is the essence of repugnant desire and says, uh, just like leaning over a candle at the dinner table, but without all the hard work, stand out in a crowd, get noticed as you walk through the airport. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and spray it on a tester strip here so you can see how that glorious atomizer works. Here we go. So burnt hair, how does it smell? Well, there's no official note breakdown on this one. I will tell you though, it does not remind me of the smell of burnt hair, for better or worse. 
It does definitely remind me of the smell of something else though, very, very clearly, which I picked up on immediately as soon as I sprayed this on. This smells basically like somebody nearby you has lit up a bowl of weed. That, that's pretty much it. It smells like that coming off the tester strip right now, pretty clearly. I would say more clearly than any fragrance that I have ever smelled. There are a lot of fragrances out there that have a cannabis note, a hemp note, marijuana note, whatever you wanna call it. A lot of fragrances will have that in there, but usually it doesn't actually smell like anything super close to that. Uh, this one does. It's, it's got that kind of funkiness to it. Yeah, like just really clearly. So burnt hair, no. Some dude smoking weed near you or possibly you yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Definitely <laughs> will get you noticed at an airport, at your job, wherever, because people are gonna think that you just got high. <laughs> That's what it is. Is it a gimmick fragrance? Is it a novelty fragrance? Yeah, for me, for sure. Like, am I ever gonna wanna wear this? Oh, no, never, God no. Not, nothing good can come from that. But is it the type of fragrance where you have people over and you go like, hey man, check this out, and you spray it? and hand it over to them and you go, what does it, what does it smell like, what does it remind you of? <laughs> is it good for that? Yeah, yeah, it's good for that. It's pungent too, man. Like if you keep smelling it over and over, it's kind of headache inducing. Oh, whoa, $100, let's go. And my wife picked up on it immediately as well. Like when I sprayed this on and I, I you know, came over to her, I was like, what does this remind you of? She just stopped me right away. She was like, oh, I know exactly what it smells like. She went into even greater detail. She was like, it smells like, the first person that smokes the bowl. She was like the very first person that lights it. It smells like that. So I'm gonna defer to her on that, I don't know. Maybe there's like some faint coffee undertones in the opening. Obviously there's a smokiness that runs through the fragrance. As it dries down, it mellows a little bit and it's not as acerbic because when you first spray this on, it can be a bit harsh. A little rough around the edges to an extent when you first spray it on, as it dries down, it, it smooths out a little bit, but it still maintains pretty much the same scent profile. Maybe a little bit of woodiness comes out, like smoky woodiness uh, as it dries, but it's not a massive change from the opening to the dry down. It's very subtle. So pretty much when you spray this and you smell it, you know what you're in for. Smoky, woody weed. That's pretty much it. Was it worth the nine month wait? I, I don't know. <laughs> It's not what I expected, but it is exactly what I expected. I expected it to be more, I don't know, intentionally gross, I guess, because of the, the burnt hair name and everything and the repugnant desire and talking about your hair being burned by a candle. I expected it to be a gimmick, to be a novelty. So that was not a surprise. I, I knew what I was signing up for, like I said before. I didn't expect it to come across as maybe not photorealistic, weed being smoked, but really close to photorealistic. I didn't expect that at all. In terms of when you would wear this, I don't know, man. Whenever you want people to think that you're completely ripped out of your mind. How about that? Spray it on really heavily. There you go. You could sabotage somebody with this. You know, you could go to uh, like their cubicle. If you work in an office, you could spritz this around their cubicle. Just make sure you don't get caught. We're gonna be walking by like, whoa, what's going on over here? Terry just got back from lunch, man, and it smells pretty good. Uh, I think we might need to take him in for a drug test. You know, you could troll some people like that. It's, it's probably illegal, but you know, you could you could try to do that. Hey, it's not illegal, spraying a fragrance. That's, that's fine, that's not illegal yet. If you really like the smell, but you don't want to actually smoke it or be around people that smoke it, could be kind of useful there. Again, it's not like a one-to-one, -one, but closest I've smelled from a fragrance. So yeah, that's uh, that's Burnt Hair by The Boring Company. Gotta say, the look is is cheap. For $100, it's not great. Like this box is a stock box and they, like I said, didn't even bother to put a sticker on here or anything. It's a stock bottle. And I'm assuming this is 50 mils, I guess, 50 milliliters. So they didn't go uh, too far out with the, the whole thing here. And I think that they were just trying to get something that had like a funky aspect to it. And yet somehow it is interesting and dare I say, in a way, kind of almost artistic? <laughs> yeah. So there we go, uh, burnt hair, singed. Can't wait for the flanker. You guys, let me know in the comments what would the flanker be 
for this one. Uh, thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Don't spend $300 buying this off eBay. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. Stay safe out there and see you guys later.